Hi guys, it's Alice again, and it's time for another edition of Unboxing Alice. I'm, of course, your host, Alistair Frost, and today we've just got one set of Studio Ghibli based pens. So that's what I'm going to show you today. That's why I'm behind the camera because pens are really hard to see from a distance. So <laughs> I'm going to go back to this format, but yes, I am here. You can see I've incorporated my new Alice pillow. There she is, she is beautiful. I wish I could show the rest of her body, but that's what we're gonna do for the sake of this video at least. So, at least we got three Alice's to stare at. Uh, so, it, without further ado, we're gonna get into these pins. These pins were created by Sugar Cube Studios, and yes, they are a Kickstarter. I think I got like eight of them or something. Like here, here's the blob of, of pins. It's just this stack of pins. So, I will open these up and show them to you one at a time. The thing about these is, again, these are Studio Ghibli based, and you've seen a buttload of those so far from me because I have too much money and I really like Studio Ghibli. Um, but of course, as I, as I said in multiple other videos, every artist puts their spin on these things, but their own different uh, flavor to these pins. And what I like about these, I'm sorry I'm talking over cellophane. Die! Okay, there we go. All right. These pins are very uh, gotcha poem based. Uh, if you've never, well, okay, even if you haven't been to Japan, you've seen gotcha poem. If you go into like a grocery store, so like Walmart or Meyer or Schnucks, any of those, usually on your way out, they'll have like those little like toy or candy machines. You put, you know, a quarter or two or three or maybe four even, depending on what you're getting in it, and you turn the little handle and out pops just like a random thing. Yeah, that's it's that's based on the, like the Japanese gacha pong. The, going to Japan, they were everywhere. There were gacha pong everywhere. It was ridiculous. <laughs> I actually shoved some money in some of theirs. Uh, the, the fruits of my labor are actually at work in the desk. I'm not at right now because we're still working for pong. Uh, but I did get some like cute little Japanese toys and whatnot from those. But yeah, they, they are everywhere in Japan, and we've incorporated those and brought them here. And with these pins, they are all basically a gacha pong set, like a, a, a little, like a, the, the machine that, care, that holds all the stuff. And so I'm really excited to show you these. I loved that aesthetic, and so let's get right into it. I will show you the first one, and it is... Oh, it's Kawanashi, Kawanashi, or No Face, from Spirited Away. So you can see, this This is the gacha pong format. format. Um, they have the little device, and there's all the little stuff in it, and you put your money, well, not in his hands usually, but in like a slot in the center, and out pops whatever it is. So this is uh, No Face, and he's got some bath tokens in there. He's got that frog dude that he ate in the movie. I totally forgot he did that. Uh, what else does he have? He's just got gold. He's got a lot of gold in his hands. Focus. Okay, and he's got some gold in this one too. So that is Kawanashi or No Face from Spirited Away. Let's see if I can shove those high up there so you guys can see them. And next up, these are all, oh, good lord, what did she do? All right, next one is, oh, uh, we're gonna play a guess, it's a guessing game. <laughs> Go just look at this and figure out what the theme is. It's gotta be Kiki's Delivery Service. I'm guessing those are Gigi's floating around in there. That's bread, that's her broom, her bag. Uh, yeah, that's probably the bakery right here. Yeah, Kiki. I'm sorry. <laughs> this is a dull moment. The Kiki's right there. Uh, I love the little slot where you would normally get your prize. Um, it is this little door and it's got the bread falling out of it. There's actually where you get to, whether you put the coin. Why is this not focusing? It's weird. There we go. There. Do that. Uh, so I like this. This is where you would put the coin. This is where you turn the handle to get your prize. That's how regular gacha pone usually work. But I love this. It's so awesome. <laughs> I really like these gacha phone bins. Next we have, this is the one that was attached to it. Um, what do you look like? You are, I'm going to have to look at you off camera. <laughs> cat return. This is the cat return. Um, hence the tail. And I think this is the, God, my thing does not want to focus today. Uh, this is uh, the... The house that Haru found, the Baron, uh, this is where, uh, what's his name, uh, Muta led her uh, to find the Baron. I think that's the shape of this particular gacha poem. But, you know, there's the door where she goes in, and there's the package um, that was given to, that the prince was holding. 
What else is in here? Some hats. I think that's the Baron's hat. Uh, yeah, there's a lot of stuff in there. There's a black cat. Who, what black cat could that be? I don't remember what the characters look like, unfortunately, <laughs> so I don't know who is who. But I'm pretty sure this one is uh, the cat return. So, there's that one. Eh. Next! Oh my, oh, these are all taped together. See, look at that. They're all taped together. That's, that's not helpful at all. There we go. I'll rip them off. Next, we've got... Uh, I'm gonna guess that's Ponyo. Ponyo, yes. Uh, so there is Ponyo floating around in there. Uh, I, I guess this is like a, it looks like a little terrarium thing that a kid would rock around holding to like catch like bugs and stuff. That's, that's what this reminds me of. Obviously this is the ocean. That's the boat that they were sailing on. Uh, I don't know what that is. I've only seen Ponyo once. I'm going to admit that right now. It's, it's for a younger audience. So I didn't I care for it as much. It's still a good movie. It's basically a little mermaid, just, you know, Hayao Miyazaki's version of that. Um, but it's for a younger audience. But yeah, there's some ponios in there. There's some ham that he, that the human boy fed her because that's what you feed fish. You feed him ham. <laughs> no flipping sense. Uh, yeah, just toy boats, ponio, and ham in there. There might be some egg. There might be an egg. I'm not sure. I think it's egg. <laughs> I think there's a whale on top, so that's really cool. Oh my god, my camera, why won't I focus? There we go. There's ponio on the cliff by the sea. I think there are two freebies in here, so I'll save those for last. Next, we have a ton of soot balls. I'm going to guess, because the soot balls show up in Totoro as well as Spirited Away. I believe this is Spirited Away, though, because uh, this looks like the bathhouse. If you look at the whole um, gachapones mechanism, uh, there's the, that looks like the building. That's the bridge going to it, the one that Shahira initially crossed to get in. Um, and yeah, so I'm guessing this is from Spirited Away as well. But these little sit dudes appear in both movies. And in addition to them, there's a bunch of the, that star candy that I've mentioned before that um, I have somewhere. Where the heck did I put that? Because um, I had like a whole bottle of it that I got from Japan. But um, that's the stuff that they eat. So that's what that is. Again, there's the coin slot. There's the, uh, the turning thingy. And that is Spirited Away. So we've had two Spirited Aways. And the rest are, some, are singles. Next we have, I think there were nine of these things, I only have eight, so for whatever reason, there's somebody I didn't grab. I don't know why I would do that. <laughs> You're so close to the, getting the whole freaking thing, just get it. Uh, this one I can obviously tell, it's, it's Princess Mother, okay. <laughs> there's the Great Forest doohickey, uh, all of his uh, antlers and whatnot. You can see, no you can't because this won't focus, there we go. You can see wolves, you can see boars, you can see her knife, her mask. The Kodama are the little white dudes that sit around. That's not racist, I swear. The little white spirits that sit around didn't click their heads. Um, Haku, Haku, Yakul is in there. Oh my god, I screwed that up. Uh, there's Come of the Wolves. I think that's about in there. But yeah, that is Spirited Away. I, I really like that one. Um, it's basically inside the Great Forest Spirit, which, I mean, since he's like the head of all of nature-y stuff, I guess that makes sense. They, they all kind of owe their existence to him so um that's the, that's it that's that's been this one okay and i hope i can finish this before my battery dies next okay that's so true that's obvious <laughs> guess that cheaply power this one's obviously obviously totoro uh it is totoro shaped it is the color of chew totoro the one in the middle but, uh, yeah that looks blue to me if it's supposed to be gray it's totally not gray uh inside there we've got Nekobasu, we've got Chibi Totoro, we have some mushrooms, some acorns, some random leaves. I think that's it, pretty much. And then we've got a uh, Chibi down there, so. But that's a quick one. And there's a little, you know, leaf, the leaf that he used as an umbrella or a hat, I guess both, kind of. And a little sprig of uh, plant here. So that is my neighbor Totoro. And finally for the paid, wow, that one's really stuck. Uh, we have, is this upside down? No. Uh, I see Heen, so we have Howl. <laughs> this, yeah, this is Howl's moving castle. Uh, this is just the entire castle, um, walking around. There's Calcifer falling out of it. Sorry, Calcifer. <laughs> we've also got Sophie's hat. We've got another Calcifer in here. We've got his bacon that he likes to eat, eggs, her hat, Heen the dog. I think that might be it. 
Oh, and the like the weird door knocker thing that every time it changes and you open the door it goes someplace funky. So, but that's that's the inside of it, and the top is obviously the Clockwork Castle. So that is Howl's Moving Castle. For whatever reason, I do not know which one I'm missing, but that I didn't buy. It's not like she didn't give it to me. I just didn't buy it. Um, but that is Howl. So there's only one Howl. There's two Spirited Aways, but there's only one of everything else. That is it for the paid ones. I'll show you the freebies now. Uh, this is one that's got the little sit ball dude just waving. Yes, they do have arms and legs. If you've seen Spirited Away, you would know that because they pick up coal and they move it places. So they're actually very adorable. <laughs> I don't know how they move because their limbs are sticks, as you can see, but they somehow do it. <laughs> and then he's got some candy in there, so he won't starve to death. Thank the face. That's him. And then we have Ponyo. We have a poor Ponyo trapped in a Jiggly Pone ball. Just... God, I, <laughs> that's actually a horrifying expression. Like, for the love of Jesus, someone get her out of there now. She's going to die. That's what that face says to me. That sounds awful, but that's what the face says. I'm sure she, um, Sugar Cube Studios did not mean for that, but she just looks absolutely terrified in there. <laughs> but that is the other freebie of Ponyo. And again, this was all done by Sugar Cube Studios. Okay, there we go. That is her information, and you can follow her on um, uh, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, Etsy, Facebook, Instagram, I think. I don't know what the picture thing is. Uh, yeah, yeah, there you go. So that's all of her information. I'll put that at the bottom. But that is it. This has been a short video because I'm only doing one thing, even though there were quite a few, uh, quite a few uh, pins to look at. So that's it. This is the Chibli Pone group. See that? Let me know what you guys think. Let me know what your favorites are, what your least favorites are. Do you like the the uh, the theme? The theme of having the Gotcha Pone, like all of these Studio Ghibli properties in the Gotcha Pone style. Because uh, I personally really love it. That's what I, I was. Just, that's why I was drawn to it because they're just very different, very different than other things that I've normally that I usually see. Um, I forgot to mention that uh, as a little extra, I'm sure you saw it, but for the Princess Mononoke one, uh, the Great Forest doohickey has some glitter going on in his uh, antlers. So that is also really, really cool. And that makes sense considering the things he can turn into and how they look. It, that, that makes sense. I'll just say that. But yeah, that's all. That's all. Thank you guys for watching. Uh, you know the drill. If you like what I do, like, subscribe, hit the bell. Um, next time I will probably go back to First Stone Pins, but I'm not sure because I have, I have a lot of both things, um, uh, uh, waiting on me. So I might go back to First Stone Pins. That's kind of been my thing. Go do two First Stone Pins and then two, I guess, non-First Stone Pins and back. Uh, but I'll decide what I want to do. Uh, hopefully that'll be in another two weeks. So like the middle of February. But thank you guys for listening. I hope you guys are staying safe and healthy and Hopefully 2021's been better for you than it has been for me. It, it's been okay. I really hope it's been better for you if you live outside the United States. But it's, it's been weird for us. But until next time, please be safe, wear a mask, and be nice to each other. So I'll talk to you guys later. Bye-bye.